Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do a little short video here on what my next step is on this van. And as you can see here, I am making some better windshield wipers for it. Unlike the parts here that, that are in the kit, that are always, the passenger side was always bent. And they seemed like they were way too long. I figured, you know what? Screw it. I can I can make my own and I pulled up uh, a picture on the internet I just I, I googled 75 Chevy van windshield wipers and I literally got five million pictures to look at so the first thing I did was I drilled two small holes where the wiper goes and even though this one is complete it still functions correctly because it does not hit the top of the windshield I don't know if you guys are seeing that or not but I these will become stationary once they all get done but I wanted to show you how I did it what I used to do it and how simple it is. So we'll go ahead. Let's st stick this guy back on. Let me just, I don't even know if I'm on camera or not. Stick him in our hole we drilled. And he pretty much set the, sets right there. And you can kind of see, uh, maybe not, it has a bit of a curve in it. I pre-bent the uh, wiper blade portion. I'll bend it more when I actually get the glass in. But the first thing I did is, you remember how I always talk about bits and pieces, never throw your styrene away anything like that here in this little glass lens that I have that I was making a light for somebody and I cut it too short I've got a bunch of little pieces of styrene rod that I had shaved off of other things and I just kept them and as you can see there's already a hole in it. I think you can see that. I may be zoomed in too close. All I did was I found two of them that were the same thickness and I drilled out using my small drill. I went ahead and drilled that hole out to 35 thousandths. Let me back up a little bit. I think I'm too close. I drilled a hole in that round piece of tubing, 35 thousandths. Then I stuck a piece of 35 thousandths rod into it, glued it in there. Once it dried, I cut one end of it off. And that gave us our contact point for the van, for the front of the van. And that goes in there just like that. Now the next step was I added this larger piece right here. And that is just a piece of 30 by 30 flat stock. That's all that is. And all I did was lay it on the table, took my knife, and cut me a piece. I cut them long. I didn't, I didn't care what length they were. I glued that part onto my little disc and my 35,000 rod. Now, looking at the uh, original 
pictures up here. Let me see if I can show you this without messing my camera up too much. As you can see, the windshield wiper arm is kind of heavy and then it thins out. And then we have our blade going across here. So this is what I think I'm, I'm going for here. Now what I will do, let's go back to this one up on the van itself. The wide part will be sanded down uh, to a taper as it comes up to meet the other piece. So once I settled on a length for the 30 by 30 flat stock, I do believe it was. I want to make sure I'm telling you right. Let me get my calipers and see. I think I'm telling you wrong. I think it's like 30 by 80. Let's go with 20 by 60, 60 thousandths wide, 20 thousandths thick, 60 by 80, or 20, 20 by 80. It's late at night, I'm tired. And the roofers are done too, by the way. All right, so I determined by putting them in, in my pre-drilled holes, how long I wanted both of the, uh, of the sub arms, we'll just call them the first portion of the arm. So I cut, laid those down upside down, cut them both equally. Then the next piece right here, the one that is on top of the 20 by 60 right there. That is, I know for a fact, because I still got it out here. That is a piece of 30 by 30 and it is a square piece of rod very small you know it's the 30 thousands by 30 thousands so now we have one two three four pieces in our sub arm and as I said the first part will get sanded down some to, to an angle. Now we need to determine the height that we want. And since we already have this one, we got to figure out where this one's going to be because they do not overlap. So I'm just going to eyeball this and snip another another little piece of it off. This is a thing with small parts and fat fingers. Things tend to fly. Let's just go right there and have a gander where we're at. Okay, I think I can live with that. Here's my pre-made blade. My blade needs to be a little shorter. At first, I made them both the same length. You can't see that. First, I made them both the same length. Now the driver's side obviously has a shorter stroke because it, it's closer to the A pillar. So we will shorten this one up a little bit. And I want you to to look, notice on, dude, I'm horrible at this. On this side right here, it protrudes out. Uh, this side is in. I'm going to make this side flush, but I want this side to protrude out. And what, what this is, this is a piece of 30 by 30 with a piece of 20 thousandths rod glued to the bottom of it that will be painted black and that will be our actual wiper blade. This top part, the 30 by 30, paint that uh, silver 
that will be our arm that the blade attaches to. So let me see if I can pull this up a little bit. And let's try to get this on the wiper. So again, oh, I didn't cut this one, did I? I want to cut her a little bit shorter. And then I want to I want to kind of pre-bend it. So remember where your blade is, put your blade down, and then pull down on it some. Because that window has a curvature in it. Okay? Just a little bit, no, not a whole lot of pressure. Then we will attempt to glue this onto our arm here. If I can get my fat fingers to cooperate. Get up there. Nothing ever goes right when you're on camera, does it? Let's pull this one out. I got such a small amount of glue on here and you got, you know, a couple of very small areas that you're trying to attach. finally got it on there my guys there's all kinds of ways that you can do stuff like this you just have to look at it use your imagination look and see what you have sitting around on your workbench I'm a big proponent of styrene uh, tubing, rod, flat stock. I always have a ton of it. All right, so there's our driver's side. Let's put our passenger side back on. And you got little parts, little holes, and old eyes, so just bear with me. That one's in. So, okay, there's our own made windshield wipers. Now, if you can see from the profile view, the passenger side is very close because you got to figure the glass is going to bulge out a little bit. The driver's side is still stuck out there a little bit, but that's easy to do by just pushing this in and reforming the arm itself. Let's see. Probably still a little bit too long. Yeah, because it's going to... It looks like it would hit the top of the window frame. So probably what I'll do is I'll take this back off and take a little bit more. Well, maybe just take it off and move it over that way some more. But, you know, it, it's all uh, cut and fit, cut and fit. And then what we're going to do is when these get glued into place. This ain't even showing up. When these get glued into place, I will sand that little nub off that's in there and it will be flushed to the kit molded uh, cow. And then the window will, will glue right up to it and will help 
to lock those in place because they'll have contact with not, not only the, the body, but also the windshield. But hey, uh, I'm not the greatest on giving tutorials or anything like that, and I'm absolutely not an expert. I don't know everything. I matter of fact, I hardly know anything, but I like to try stuff. I like to try new things, and I started making windshield wipers on a, a few of my other older builds, and I discovered it was actually pretty simple to do. It's, it's just a matter of looking at uh, shapes in the real world and, and breaking them down so that you can use them on your models. Now, since I've got these done, I have to push that one back just a hair and I'll, I'll sand down the front portion of the arm a little bit at a nice angle. And then I want to make some mirrors for it so I can get away from those kit mirrors like on my uh, van that I showed previously that I had built 20 years ago. They're now missing and I've got three spots on the door where they were glued on with, with no mirror. So I'm going to use, uh, let's see what I got here on the table. Probably the 30, yeah, the 35,000 rod to make my mirror support brackets and from my, for my actual mirror, I'll find something in here that I can cut down and use because this bad boy is full and I got three bags of it. So again, I don't care what it is. Never, never, never throw it away. Look at all this crap up here. These are odds and end pieces that I've used to, to scratch build something and it, to me it's not garbage. That is all really good stuff and that's why I keep it. That's why my bench looks like it's a mess most of the time, but yeah, I think those wipers look pretty good once we get them all shaped out, glued into place. Uh, we, we did get some uh, Molotov work done on it earlier today. I'm letting that dry up. We got our tail lights, side marker lights over here. We did glue on our, our top lights here because oh, I, I had them cut specifically for front and back and I was kind of leery that I would forget which was which. So they're just glued in there. But yeah, super, super easy. Just take your time, look at what you're trying to make, think about it and make it. I mean, that's what makes model building fun. I think that's why I like to do what I do because I enjoy trying to figure out how to make these lights, you know, and now I'm going to have an ambulance that, that never was. So give it a shot, guys. Styrene is your friend. Uh, with that being said, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.